Hi everyone, here is Abdul and today we have a special video brought to you by uh, Bricktop Mario. Thank you very much. Uh, he sent me two watches to um, review and to, to regulate. The first one I did on Wednesday uh, in German and this is the second one. Um, yeah, I, I usually do uh, a German video on Wednesday and two English videos on Friday and Sunday. This might change in the future as the, the English videos are getting less and less views. Um, so I might be thinking about switching to one on one. So one on Saturday and one on Wednesday. Please leave in the comments if you think that's better or worse. Which, uh, which day do you prefer the, the uploads? I'm still... Uh, trying with the, the with the algorithm let's say to see which day and which thumbnail and all this stuff so your support is much appreciated so please do like and subscribe and getting back to the watch of the day it's a Heimdler Seiko Tuna um, homage as you can see it's a well-built watch I have to say I didn't expect it to be to be that well built must say when they came, I had the steel watch in my hand, steel dive, and the Heimdler, and the difference was quite noticeable at the first glance. Sorry about that. And as you can see, the watch has a nice thickness to it, nice profile. And the cool thing about here is these lugs. The lugs just go down, so you, any uh, even smaller size wrists can wear it. Sorry about that. I think I have to, yep, here we go. And here we can see the dial. Sorry about the lighting. So as you can see, we can check the dimensions of the watch. Try not to scratch anything on the watch, it's not mine. 45.5, and let's see lug to lug lug to lug distance is same okay thickness is 14 millimeters and i think lug width is 22 yeah so i have by the way i'm wearing the tudor i thought it's a good watch to to have it as a diver comparison and i'm i'm at the moment i think 17 inch uh, 17 inch uh, 17 centimeter uh, wrist circumference and as you can see on my wrist it does actually could look quite good the strap is very supple very soft i really like it the only problem is on wrists like mine it will just go out the other way i'll show you what i mean in a second yeah and as you can see the loom is quite nice as well it has a full dial loom but the bezel is not loomed like the steel dial the steel dive sorry had like a loomed bezel it's a ceramic bezel sapphire glass i think it has an nh35 but we will open the movement and see I thought the other one had an STP, but I was totally wrong. It had an NH35. And uh, yeah, that's the time now. I'll just take the crown out because I'll show you what I noticed when I took the crown out. Oh, now it's, it's quite well. Okay. Yeah, it was moving a little bit weird, uh, I have to say. Uh, quite quick. But now it's moving quite good as well. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. The, um, the screw down crown is a bit hard and you will only know when, when it's fully, when it doesn't go anymore. As you can see from the other side, you see that there's no gap anymore. The crown, uh, sorry, the, the, the bezel. So the bezel action is really nice. And I, I thought actually that this would be hindering moving the bezel, these these uh, bezel protectors. Uh, but actually, they do help because I know where I move it and I can just fix it exactly 
where I want. And there is no backplay at all. Like the steel dive was moving all, all the way around and there was, was a lot of backplay, but this one doesn't have any backplay at all. I'm very happy. I'm very surprised to be honest with the quality. Uh, the finished quality, of course, as you can see, there are brushed areas, there are polished areas, but I wasn't expecting, to be honest, that uh, high of a quality. Yeah, what I wanted to show you is, is when you put on the watch, and due to the fact that I have only a 17 centimeter, which is 6. 6.3, 6.5, I think 6.5 inch wrist. You can see the, the the strap flapping out. I asked Mario to, to borrow it for a day, just to wear it to see how it is, but I think I'll change the strap to, to put it on some kind of NATO or so, because this strap, I, I cannot walk with a strap that's flapping around. You have to have a much bigger wrist to wear this watch with the supplied rubber strap, which is quite nice rubber strap, I have to say. You have, you have here Heimdallar and uh, you have really thick, really thick rubber, like 3.5 almost inches thick of rubber. So I'll, I'll uh, change it on a NATO, get the time grapher and uh, start seeing how the watch is, uh, is doing. And if it needs regulating, I'll regulate it. Hopefully I won't do catastrophically like the steel dive, which I went to, uh, to, to, to the other side of regulating. And then I brought it back to, to COSC, um, COSC specs, let's say. Uh, but yeah, it took me a, a while. So this time I will be much, much more careful with regulating the, the NH35 because it was my first time to regulate it. So... We'll be right back. As we can see, the watch is running actually in 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 cost uh, area. Um, I don't know what I can do. I can um, maybe I'll ask Mario um, if you'd like to to have it in the plus instead of having it in the minus, um, which would be a little bit more helpful. But other than that, I don't think there is anything else to do to be done in on on uh, on such a good uh, working movement. So I'm back, I asked Mario what he wants, and he was saying he would prefer that to have it in plus than in minus. So I will uh, uh, regulate it accordingly, because it was around like minus two, minus three. So I'll try to push it up to plus two maybe, or even zero would be the, the perfect. I'm trying with the ball to open it. Uh, I think we have to then do it the other way around, which is with this small device, you put it in two of these holes and you push in one direction to open the case. And that's how you do it. I'll just pause it now because I don't want to scratch the wall. So I'll, I'll, I'll um, put some tape on it, put some tape here, wear my gloves and be back. So I tried a lot of times with the ball, uh, it didn't come out. So I brought this one as well to try it out. What I'm trying to do is to avoid any scratches is to either put some tape here, but the problem with the tape, it will leave marks. So what I wanted to do is get this plastic and put it here and try it out to put this in this and let's see if it will open yeah no I'll, I'll scratch it i did actually have a scratch on it oh oops sorry mario i tried my best but i'll uh it's also a chance to show you guys another one another product that I use also, which is this Cape Cod. So Cape Cod, I will 
buff out the scratch with it oops yeah like i said here's the scratch i'm really sorry mario about the scratch tried my best to not to scratch it but it happened yeah so i'll stop right here don't want to go any further and scratch the watch it's not mine so um yeah i'll try to to open it again with the ball if not i'll uh, I, I will add the rest of the video to this one as well um so if you find after the 10th minute couple of minutes extra that means that there's the regulation and uh, the opening of the case of this watch if not thank you so much for watching and just want to get back to the 12 for everyone who has a bit of ocd like me yeah so thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of content please leave a like and also subscribe and i will get to back to any of the comments that you leave down in the comment section so thank you so much have a great one bye